Hello everyone, I am Marie and welcome to my studio. Today I will be talking about the paper, watercolor paper. In my opinion, this is the most important in watercolor. I will be making some swatches so you can see how the color mix and some strokes like for roses and we will see how the paper reacts. So now let's look at the papers. This is an artist watercolor paper, it's a cheap paper and as you can see uh, the colors on the top didn't mix really well, it didn't mix at all and the watercolor just dried too fast and you cannot blend anything and so not a good paper. So the next paper is a this one is a Canson XL and is as you can see the mixing uh, at the top is pretty okay, it's decent and well for the flowers it dried a little bit too fast and didn't really mix really well. It's a good paper to practice on but if you want to do more layers it's not really a good paper for that. So this next paper is the Han Muller watercolor paper. This is a cotton paper. I don't know if it's 100%, but 
but this is a good paper the only thing that this particular one that I have right now is a hot press paper and that means that it's really smooth and therefore the water doesn't go into and it dries a little bit faster but it's a good paper you can layer it's awesome for layering and uh, so yeah it depends what are you going to do with the paper This other paper is the Canson Graduate, 250 grams, and this is is okay for practicing. I think it did uh, was some smoother. It's not as smooth as a hot press, but I think that this one is pretty good to practice with. Um, so yeah. So this is an artist cold press and this is a very very good paper it's a hundred percent cotton as you can see at the top is a nice blend uh, up there and the strokes for the roses are nice and smooth and you can build up and you can also um, lift color and you can even rub a little bit of water take pigment off or make it smoother and this paper will take a little bit of abuse not too much abuse but it can handle it so it's a good paper to have I'm going to show you in this other paper that if you rub too much of um, the paper you can ruin it you can just mess up the fibers of the paper and it can break because it's not a good quality paper So this paper is uh, my favorite paper at the moment. It is an Art Away Indigo handmade paper. And this paper blends so beautifully. And it just stays wet longer. You can work it longer. You can take your time to do it. And it's just amazing. I love it. And so you can even after it's dry to make your layers you can put water back on and put pigments on and make your depths and all that stuff and i just i just love it is uh, is a little bit rough paper because it's handmade but i think from all the papers that i have used this is by far my favorite i love it very very much so 
I hope that you give it a try, that you test and try all kinds of papers and see what works for you. So here are all six samples that I made. I also made these other ones with simpler um, sketching of a door with some steps and some uh, flowers. So you can see a little bit of a um, difference, but of course I am trying to work with the paper. So you can do also that. You can just work with the paper. When you know how the paper behave, you can go around it and, and make it work for you. But when you are a beginner, I mean, it can be frustrating if you think that it's you that cannot do something when most of the time is the paper that is not working. So I would say go for the one that you can afford. Just have a good paper first, then your brushes, then your paints. I hope that you will enjoy this watercolor journey and please subscribe so we can go and do this together. I am so thankful that you are here, that you are watching. God bless you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.